Bob Lovell. All 6,707 of the official entrants left the starting line at exactly 12 noon under rainy skies in Hopkinton. The overcast weather prevailed throughout the entire race. Throughout most of the race, the top seven men stayed packed together. Then one by one, runners fell off, leaving only two runners, Ibrahim Hussein of Kenya and Yuma Akenga of Tanzania. Both stuck close, and then it happened. In the closest finish in the race's history, Hussein sprinted the final 50 yards to overtake Ikanga. The winning time, two hours, eight minutes, and 42 seconds. The first African to win the world's oldest marathon. Coming in to win. Like and I thought I had a very good kick and my aim was just to stay with him as close as I can and then kick at the end. On the women's side, Portugal's Rosa Moda finished easily, cruising to victory with a time of two hours, 24 minutes and 30 seconds. I'm so happy to win second time and the Boston Marathon. For me, it's very important to be here. First, because I like to run here and second, because uh, they have here a lot of Portuguese people. And in the wheelchair division, Musatafa Badid of France also won easily. A world record time of one hour, 43 minutes, and 19 seconds. 